Hello, I'm DeathSeeker512, and in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the configuration file. So, in here, you can see that there's only the Forge configuration file and the Forge trunk loading configuration file. And if you're wondering where this is, it, it's in your Forge folder, then MCP, then jars, because this is where the Minecraft gets put after it has been uh, compiled and then put into the jars, and then in config. So I'm just gonna leave this up while I show you how to do this. So we have our mod and all, so let's go to the pre-init function. And what we wanna do is configuration, config equals new configuration, and then you wanna put event dot get suggested configuration file, and put a semicolon in, then you wanna do config dot save and then not config.save config.load and then config.save and that gets rid of the error for some reason yeah okay so what we want to do here is make a new public static variable And then we want to have it a type of int, and then we want to have the block, and then we want to put IDF at the end, put a semicolon, and then so here, what we want to put is the variable we just put, uh, we just made that word, and then we want to set it equal to config dot get and then for the string for the category we want to put configuration dot category block and then the key we want to have it set to the name of the block but without a space I, d I don't know what would happen if you did have the space oh huh. and then that oh I hate you. What do you work on? Oh my god, I put a cube there. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. And then the default value that you want the block ID to be. So in this case, I'm going to make it 3000. Because that's what it was earlier. And that's what it is now. And get int. That way, that fixes all the issues. And so now that we're done with that, in between the load and the save, you want to have all your config settings done. And so you can have several different block IDs or there are different categories like that as you saw. If there's like the general which you can which you if you've seen some of the other mods, there are like several different things that you can do, like change the speed of someone or various other things in their mod or make it to where they can certain blocks are loaded and I don't have a clue what the cat splitter category would do or the encode uh, whatever anyway yeah stick to the categories and so because it's a block we're just going to do that and so let's go down here and to a block we're going to set this equal to the block ID that variable that we made so tut block ID if you hit control space, you can bring up this window. This window. And then you can choose whichever you feel like doing. So, yeah. So, I'm going to keep this folder up as I run Minecraft. As soon as I run Minecraft. So, as you can see here right now, nothing's happening. Also, a quick note, if you hit, never mind, I'm not, I'm not going to be that mean. I was going to say, if you hit a f uh, alt F4, special things happen. Like, there will be a dragon that flies across the street screen. No, actually what, what happens whenever we hit alt F4 is it closes the window. However, if you hit alt tab, you can switch between windows. And if you hit the Windows mount button and tab, if you're on Windows, then you can have another way of switching through them. 
Now, as you see here, our config file has been made, right? Now, I purposely put it in another mod. That way, there will be an issue between the config files. I'm not going to say whose mod it is. But as you see here, the mod, the other mod has already taken slot 3000. So, it, it gave us this error. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stop Minecraft. I'm going to open up this folder. And I'm going to write... I'm going to open up the config file and change the number of, yeah, the block ID. So I'm going to change it from 3000 to 3002. I'm then going to hit that control save. Well, S really. We can close out of that, close out of that. And then run Minecraft again. And so that you can see what happens this time. Hello, Forge. Mod loader is setting up your Minecraft environment. Please wait while Forge Modeler has some tasks. Oh, I was reading you. <laughs> okay, so, you know, default stuff is happening. Hey, apparently I'm player 224 this time. A couple of times I've been 200, or once really. One time was one really odd number. And. It's still loading. It's still loading. It's still loading. Well, you know what they say. Whenever you're bored and doing stuff, you can grab something like, oh, I don't know, an instrument and play it. Well, and mess around, of course, and not actually play a song. Um, yeah. Is it done loading? And voila, it's done loading, and there weren't issues. So, that's how you make a configuration file. Uh, if this tutorial helped you at all, please give it a like. If it didn't, there's the other button. If you want to see more by me, subscribe. Thank you, and goodbye.